So Drake Bell dropped a bombshell on us last night. In this TikTok, he says that his song In The End from 2005 was actually written about the SA that he faced against Brian Peck. This is actually track five off of his debut record, Telegraph, which actually features hits like Hollywood Girl, Highway to Nowhere, Found a Way, the theme song for Drake and Josh. And after listening to the song for the first time, it's actually really good. I've been playing guitar since I was 12 years old and I've been writing music like for about the same amount of time. And I was not writing music that was this good when I was 15. But reading these lyrics with full context now definitely does send a chill down my spine. In the end, are you stronger? Do you no longer need to recover? And where have you been since it's been over? Over my shoulder, under my skin, will you ever return again? This line especially too, the monsters in your head have left you all to yourself. It's all right if ugly little things remind you of how it felt. Like, this was 2005, bro. This was 20 years ago almost. It was literally hidden in plain sight, and we had no idea. Prior to this TikTok, there wasn't really anything on Genius about the song meaning or anything like that, at least not to my knowledge, but it looks like people are already quick to add the additional context that we need. And it seems like lately a lot of people are revisiting Drake's catalog, both old and new, and a lot of people are citing Hollywood Girl and Highway to Nowhere as two other songs that kind of hit a little different given the new context that we have learned. But I also want to mention that maybe a day or two after Quiet On Set had first aired, Drake had actually dropped a new song called I Kind Of Relate. The music video is very unique too. It kind of chronicles Drake's life, if you will. There's even a reference to his car accident, which nearly almost, you know, unalived him. But there's this lyric in the song too that I also want to highlight. It says, I lost my path so long ago in 2008. I found love in Mexico because no one wants to hear me in the States. And that was definitely true for the time. Drake has a huge fan base in Mexico. Maybe not as big as Dragon Ball's fan base in Mexico, but it's definitely a lot bigger than it is here in the States. So in my opinion, I think we really need to give Drake's music the shot that it deserves. What do y'all think?